All right, guys, uh, got one more step here to do, but before we do that, uh, hopefully uh, I can get through this, but uh, I don't, you know, like, so let's see, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity, uh, pass on a few words, and this will be the last time this team will be together. See, first and foremost, I wanted to thank you guys, my colleagues, my friends, the shuttle flight controllers of uh, Mission Operations. It's been my extreme privilege and honor to have worked with each one of you and have been part of this outstanding team of individuals so dedicated and passionate about the work they do. Each one of you should take great pride in the accomplishments you have achieved and know that you are the main reason for the success of the Space Shuttle program. Thirty years ago, the dream had just begun. My flight director for entry was uh, Crimson Flight Don Putty with Capcom Joe Allen. As Columbia's nose gear touched down and began rollout, Putty told his team, prepare for acceleration. Well, the shuttle hasn't failed us in that. It was a moment for the history books. Today is also a moment in the history books. Those books will talk about the amazing work of the flight control teams over the past 30 years. The work done in this room and this building will never again be duplicated. I believe that the accomplishments of the shuttle program will become the next set of shoulder of giants for the future programs to stand on. Hold your heads up high with pride as we close out the space shuttle program. You have earned it. To all, like I always say, savor the moment, soak it in, and know you are the best, the best in the world. Your work here has made America and the world a better place. It's been an unbelievable and amazing journey. From intrepid flight to the entire NASA team, God bless you all and Godspeed. So with that, why don't you guys go ahead and get your MIPSR guys if you want. Bring them all in here, and we'll go ahead and watch the crew walk around. And while I finish uh, handing over the vehicle. Heartfelt words from Entry Flight Director Tony Sakachi, signing off uh, to the entry team for the final time as 30 years of space shuttle operations and mission control come to an end with the safe landing of Atlantis, its four astronauts now off the vehicle for the final time. Here in the uh, flight control room, all of the uh, engineers who have worked uh, so tirelessly over the years in support of space shuttle missions are filtering into the space shuttle flight control room to uh, share the moment. You heard the words uh, from entry flight director Tony Sakachi, but those are words that are echoing through the hearts of every single technician and engineer from every single discipline here at the Johnson Space Center. The film, the uh, room is quickly filling up handshakes all around, a very emotional moment, a very historic moment.
This is Mission Control Houston. Amongst uh, the well-wishers here in Mission Control, Mike Coates, the center director of the Johnson Space Center, who flew on the maiden flight of the space shuttle Discovery. Joining others uh, here in the flight control room, which uh, is now filled with people uh, expressing uh, their emotions and their congratulations on the completion of the space shuttle program. Once again, here in Mission Control, the room is filled with uh, the greats from the history of the shuttle program who have uh, spent the past three decades in support of mission operations to bring all of these flights to conclusion. This is Mission Control Houston. It has been uh, just over an hour since uh, Atlantis is landing at the Kennedy Space Center. And uh, with the uh, vehicle now having been handed over to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time, we will return to the Florida spaceport and continuing coverage of the completion of the final mission in space shuttle program history. For the last time in this room, this is Mission Control Houston.